All right, so we've got these bubble vectors, and in Make Plus, we're going to turn them into a relief very, very simply. So the first thing to do is to open the Shape Editor tool. Now, the standard process that most people do is just do a straight dome. This tends to look quite rough, lumpy, bumpy. So a trick I like to use is the limit to height. Now, what this does is it gives you a straight edge on the side and like a, a fillet or a chamfer on the edge itself and kind of curves it off. As you can see in the um, right hand side in the actual profile itself. And what I like to do is change my height and my start height. And this actually changes um, what it actually looks like, the shape itself. So you get this really nice sort of smooth but flat top to a design. So that's a trick I like to use when I'm actually doing any of the modeling. Next, I'm going to add the details. So this is just very, very quick. And um, what I've done is drawn the vector backwards, holding down the shift key, and that selects everything across that section itself. So um, dragging, a, dragging a box backwards and forwards to select vectors are actually different in Carve Code products, and they're very useful. So all I did there was do an inverse dome. As you can see, now it started to add a bit more shape to the design itself. The bow section itself would probably be raised. Um, so again, the shape editor, and I'm going to do a limit to height on this as well. So that will change what that looks like and raise it up a little bit. Now, there is a lot more I can do to these designs. I can use some of the other tools, especially some of the new tools that went into Maker Plus. Um, but I'm just keeping it very, very simple and using the shape editor tools across the bubbles just to show you what can be achieved. So this is the bauble vectors from the Christmas advent calendar. And I'm just tweaking it a little bit. There you go. OK, so you can see it's raised. I'll turn the vectors off now. See, that's raised and you can see the um, dips in on the main bauble. I'm going to show you what it looks like to use different shapes. Um, so that's the dome raised. It's very lumpy bumpy. That's it inverted. So when it raises, it does end up being a little bit lumpy bumpy. So that's where I end up using um, the limit to height functionality. If I use the diamond functionality, it can be a little bit rough when you've got such a weird complex shape. It's pretty good for text, but not so great for some of the other shapes that I'm trying to achieve. So again, I've just done a simple dome recess there. Right, I'm going to turn my attention to the other bauble now. So I'm quite happy with that first one. Again, that's pretty quick to produce. So I'm just going to select all of these. Look how I'm dragging backwards to select what I want. Shift key and I'm just removing the outer vector that I've selected. Into the round dome again. Again, I'm, I'm recessing this. That's raised. I want it to go the opposite way. And there is other things you can do to get rid of some of the sharper edges. If you want, you can sculpt and use the smooth tool or you can go to relief, edit and smooth. Um, but I'm just keeping some consistency across my design. So I'm limiting to height on the bow and the others will be recessed. Now, the difference to this bauble is that it's got some highlights as well. So on the left hand side, it's got some highlights. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a shape to that. And I'm just keeping this very, very simple, just the stuff you can do with the shape editor. So these are those highlights I was talking about. You can see most of the time when I select, I end up reversing it rather than going forwards. It means that I don't have to get the vector exactly to select it. Something to try out and see how you get on. All right, so very, very simply, quite quick within, you know, what, four minutes, we've actually produced two reliefs of the baubles from those very simple vectors within Maker Plus.